let's have a see what Tomoa Narasaki makes of this dino that has so many options now. We've seen a triple paddle, quadruple paddle, and a no paddle. He goes for the oh. triple. And that catch, I mean, if you blanked his face out, I think I could have told you that was Tomoa, that style of that <laughs> left-hand catch. He's got a 58% top ratio in finals. There we saw the same method as Yoshiyuki going up and then reversing to pick a better beta. Very good body awareness there to make this decision. Tomoa Narasaki now looking to get up and match the top hold. Does, does it without a bother. All right, Tomoa Narasaki enters the arena. Looking calm. Immediately grabs the brush. You'll know it's all about the feet on this and quickly makes sure that everything's ready for him. No edges to go off on that volume. Let's see if Tomoa can work this out. Cross feet to start, and he goes for the fist jam. Looking very good, though, getting his hips quite high. Not close enough into the wall, but not too far out. I think he might try to go for that method again, because it was pretty close. My wrists ache for him if he manages to make the stick. There's going to be so much force going through that wrist and forearm if he holds the fist jab. Crack climbing is terrifying. The forces it puts on your joints. It really scares me. Yes, you crack climbers out there, you know who you are. Be mad, man. It's a skill. Right, let's see. Oh, double. Oh, was he stacking fist jab there? He was trying to go for the double stack. I don't know how you do that in the middle of a dyno. But you can see he's thought about the body position you need to be in. And you need to be strong on that left foot, at least the way the root setter is intended. So he's stepping high, skipping the right volume and going, wow, what was that? Well, look, he came close, threw it all out the window, but didn't quite have that match. But that's going to give him confidence. Amazing. And as you said, he made two, three attempts, thought, I'll change the beta. The new beta worked. Yeah, that was a... Good insight into his thought process. I thought he was going to try the double stack again. Let's see that. So this is the change. Out with the left and finds the right. And let's see where it went wrong. I think it might have maybe been a foot pop. No, just couldn't quite hold the pinch. Yeah, it looks like he didn't quite get himself into the wall, but it also looked like he was very conscious of that body position and intentionally thought, this isn't going to work. I'll come down, I'll save the energy. Yeah, good point. No point continuing if you're not right. Let's see if he gets himself better set this time. Drops that left foot onto the wall, bumps the right, now makes the cross look easy, but still starting to unravel from that pinch, but made it work, and now he's got this jump. Oh, big kick on the wall there. Our mic's picking up all the sound. Yes, great effort there. He thought, go with both hands. Don't think it was his priority to get the foot out, and maybe just stick the swing. Pulling in, killing the inertial force, but didn't work on that attempt. Let's see it again. So, he was set better. Look towards the right with the volume. Yeah, spinning off sideways. Watch his feet there again. Just almost got sort of a foot caught under that blue volume as he came up, flicked his leg back. Would have been useful. Now, let's see. If he gets there again, I think he will have learned from the previous attempt. Up he goes, easier this time. Immediately bumps the hand and drops the foot. Same method as before, cross through. How will he attempt this? Oh, trying to swap the feet, perhaps rushing a little bit. Rushing a little bit, losing the friction on that hold. And I say rushing, I mean the margins here are so small, isn't it? A slight so shift in the wrong direction, you go. Now he is going for an attempt, he knows needs to be kind of fast. It will be exceptionally difficult right now, but can he make it? Ready for the last move, Moa Narasaki. Swings out, I, again, I think he was looking to maybe toe catch the bottom of that volume. He sort of made a move towards it. We'll see, anyway, he leaves, no top for him. 68% tops in finals for him. 70 centimeters, 75 World Cups. Shows his experience. 
and you will have seen boulders like this before. And that is, it's worth remembering because experience counts for everything. Texture stick. So Tomoa, no go on his first go. So hard to know if you're choosing the right method on this roller. We've seen it so far with all the athletes. I'm particularly worried about Koro, who has shown that. He's struggled so far to find the right methods. Here we have a boulder who's particularly difficult to find the right method. Yeah, tiptoeing that right foot out. Look, he needs to get into the wall in order just to be in a starting position here. Time ticking down. Oh, it's crimping the very edge of the volume. Trying to get the feet up. That'll work. I've just realized I keep saying the right method. By that, I don't mean the one and only method that the root sider decided. I mean the method that works for them. Absolutely, and we've, I mean, we've seen a few different methods on this. Still no one facing out. Uh, that's an interesting position, but good. Left hand down instead of a foot, but then you've got to fully stand up in that position. Really displaying good flexibility to open that hip far enough. Most people couldn't even get close to this position. I say look like a sideways pistol squat. That. I, I, don't, I don't train for those kind of things. <laughs> Who does? Samoa, interesting as he figures out different methods. Tricep standing out as he presses down. Again, as you mentioned, triceps before. Oh wow, reaching that foot up round his round his body to get into the hole. Not quite working there, but. Again, just as you mentioned, the triceps. Nowadays, with these competition boulders, athletes have to train their full body for any possibility that might come up. It used to be for climbing, you just trained the arms and the fingers, the core. Now, it's triceps, it's legs. We've seen these explosive jumps. They need strong legs to make these movements. I mean, it's the argument for why speed, you know, the inclusion of speed as a, as a discipline uh, with the combined is a good thing, because you know these athletes had to get that explosive energy. They had to build their legs a little bit more, and it will have helped them for certain moves. It helps them for certain moves. Even more importantly, it helps avoid injury. The coaching scene has changed massively in the last years as they prioritized the safety of the athletes, training the body, strength training, that gives you more security and gives you a better chance of avoiding injury. The judge once again back onto the mat. She's been busy here tonight. That is a stressful judging position to be in. Just trying to almost bend himself over it, figuring it out. Crowd watching expectantly. They know a breakthrough can happen at any moment on this boulder. This is about the time that the other climbers have found their breakthrough. Mo though will need to try something quite different if he wants to though. Yeah, the time is almost gone for us. 15 seconds remaining. Don't think he's gonna get this done unless something magical happens on this go. Three fingers on the erect. Not gonna happen. Samoa says goodbye. So, Tomoe Narasaki joins us. Let's see what he can do. He's currently right down in the bottom. Not going to be challenging for a podium place, but he'd like to put one of these to sleep, wouldn't he? Amazing kick there from Tomoe. Manages to do this work move so well. Now let's see, does he have the experience and strength to do the last move. Up he goes. Oh, and again, that position. He looks back up at it, and yeah, he's having a look because... Realizing there's no texture where he grabbed. You could see, though, from the position he was in before, he's wrapped his arms right the way around those holes to try and move up. It's really difficult to hold the position from this, this handhold that he has. We've watched multiple athletes fall off that final move. Why is it difficult to hit the texture bit of that hold from that position? To hit the texture bit, it's actually a bit too low, and so you can't pull down on it. We need that directional force. So the place you do have to grab where you can pull
pull down is over the top, although you don't have the friction. So when you grab and you pull down, you need to also crush in to the side to make it stick. And that's where a lot of the athletes are struggling. We need that compression between the, that hold and the lower hold, or the volume right beside it, as we've seen before. So a lot to think about, a lot to do in this final move. Arasaki in fifth, that amazing kip here. You see, he doesn't generate this big swing. He just explodes in one go, up into the move. Such a display of technical prowess. Now, here we are thinking about something different. A left foot, let's come up into the last hold. And Tomoa Narasaki has made a top on final number four. That would have pleased him. Let's see how far up that would have moved him. He made the adjustment, he looked at it, he tweaked it.